Have you ever looked up at the night sky only to see the moon slowly darken, turning into a mysterious shade of red? That breathtaking moment is what we call a lunar eclipse. But what really happens during this celestial event? Why does the moon change colors? And what secrets does it reveal about the cosmic dance between the Earth, the moon, and the sun? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the science, the myths, the history, and the stunning beauty of lunar eclipses. So sit back, because for the next 15 minutes, we're going to uncover the wonders of this natural phenomenon. The basics. First, let's understand the basics. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth passes directly between the Sun and the Moon. This alignment causes Earth's shadow to fall on the Moon. But here's the fascinating part. The Moon doesn't just disappear into darkness. It often glows with an eerie red or coppery color. Why red? It's because of Earth's atmosphere. When sunlight passes through, the atmosphere filters and bends the light, scattering the blue wavelengths but allowing the red and orange hues to reach the Moon. In other words, during a lunar eclipse, you're literally seeing the colors of all the sunsets and sunrises on Earth projected onto the moon. Types of lunar eclipses Not all lunar eclipses look the same. There are three main types. Penumbral eclipse. This is the most subtle. The moon only passes through the outer part of Earth's shadow, called the penumbra. The result? A faint darkening that's often hard to notice. Partial eclipse. Here, only part of the moon dips into the Earth's umbra, or central shadow. You'll see a chunk of the moon disappear, almost like it's being eaten away. Total eclipse the most dramatic of all. The entire moon is covered by Earth's umbra, glowing red like a lantern in the night sky. This is what people often call the blood moon. The science behind the colors. One of the most beautiful aspects of a total lunar eclipse is the color. Sometimes it's a deep blood red. Other times it's more orange, copper, or even brown. This variation depends on Earth's atmosphere. Think about volcanic eruptions or massive wildfires. When, when particles fill the air, they can block or filter more light, making the moon appear darker and redder. Scientists can actually use eclipses to study the health of Earth's atmosphere. In a way, the moon becomes a giant mirror, reflecting the state of our planet. The Cosmic Dance A lunar eclipse also reminds us of the grand cosmic dance happening right above our heads. The sun, the earth, and the moon are constantly moving, and only when everything aligns perfectly do we get this spectacle. It's also worth noting, lunar eclipses can only happen during a full moon. But not every full moon brings an eclipse because the moon's orbit is tilted about 5 degrees compared to Earth's orbit around the sun. That slight tilt is enough to usually keep the moon out of Earth's shadow. So, eclipses are special. They're rare alignments in the sky's choreography. History and Myths Throughout history, lunar eclipses have inspired awe, fear, and wonder. Ancient civilizations didn't understand the science, so they created myths. In some cultures, people believed a dragon or monster was swallowing the moon. The Inca thought a lunar eclipse meant a jaguar was attacking it. In Mesopotamia, eclipses were seen as omens for kings. But on the other side of the world, some cultures celebrated them as moments of transformation and renewal. Even today, people often gather to watch an eclipse together, almost as if continuing an ancient tradition of storytelling under the stars. Watching a lunar eclipse 
Now, here's the good news. Unlike solar eclipses, lunar eclipses are perfectly safe to watch with the naked eye. No glasses, no special equipment. Just step outside and look up. But if you want to enhance the experience, binoculars or a telescope will give you an even closer look at the details on the moon's surface as it slowly darkens and turns red. And remember, eclipses don't happen everywhere at the same time. Depending on where you live, you might see the full event, just part of it, or sometimes not at all. The Bigger Picture So, what really happens during a lunar eclipse? It's not just the moon turning red, it's Earth casting its shadow across space, its sunlight bending through our atmosphere. It's a reminder that we're part of something bigger, a cosmic system of motion and light. When we stand on Earth and watch a lunar eclipse, we're witnessing the same sky that ancient people watched thousands of years ago. The same science, the same beauty, the same wonder. So the next time you see the moon glowing red in the night sky, remember, you're watching Earth's shadow. You're watching sunsets from around the world, and you're experiencing one of the most magical alignments in the universe. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the mysteries of a lunar eclipse. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with fellow stargazers. Until next time, keep looking up.